Hey everyone, and happy Friday. My name is Soumya Srivastava, and I'm a structures engineer here at SpaceX. I'll be your host for today's Starlink mission, which marks SpaceX's 20th launch of the year and 219th, and 219th overall mission to date. On your screen is a live view of our Falcon 9 rocket at Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral, Florida. Currently, weather is green and the range is ready to support a T0 of 1143 AM Eastern Time. The teams are currently tracking no issues with the vehicle or spacecraft. In a little bit, we should see the strongback clamp arms opening up and pulling away from the vehicle. Uh, it's strongback lowers again. There we have a great view of the strongback clamp arms. And in a few seconds, we should see those clamp arms beneath the fairing open up, and then the strong back should begin to retract away from the rocket. You can see those pulling away. The strong back is also called the transporter erector, or TE, which is how we break over the vehicle from horizontal to vertical, and how we route propellant to the vehicle before liftoff. You can see those clamp arms are now fully opened, and the strong back will shortly begin to pull away from the rocket. can see that strong back is going to pull away. And coming up next at T minus three minutes, we should hear that stage one has completed liquid oxygen loading. Stage one lock load complete. And at T minus three minutes, Falcon 9's first stage is fully loaded with RP-1 and LOX, and we're awaiting completion of LOX load on the second stage in about 50 seconds from now. The booster you see on screen today went through a successful static fire attempt yesterday. Static fires are an opportunity to fully run the engines with LOX and RP-1 to ensure the propellant systems are functioning as we want them to. If you didn't know, we use two types of propellant on Falcon 9. RP-1 stands for Rocket Propellant 1, which is a rocket-grade kerosene, and LOX stands for Liquid Oxygen, so that's what you keep hearing over the nets. You can probably see those white clouds coming off of the side of the booster. That is gas above the LOX tank that's venting out to maintain pressure inside of the tanks. Stage two lock load complete. And we have good confirmation there that the second stage is now full of locks, which means that Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel yeah, and up. liquid oxygen. You can see that the booster is covered in a good amount of soot, and that's because it has nine flights under its belt, having previously taken multiple trips to the ISS with two CRS missions, two crew missions, in addition to supporting the Turksat 5B, Eutelsat Hotbird 13G, Empower A and two back to back Starlink missions. After liftoff and stage separation, the booster is scheduled to land on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas, which is currently located off the Florida coast in the Atlantic Ocean. We just heard that the flight computers have taken over the countdown and the rocket is now on internal power. In a few seconds, we should hear confirmation from the launch director. LD, go for launch. As you just heard, the launch director has given the final go to proceed for launch. Let's sit back and watch as Falcon 9 takes our 56 Starlink satellites into space. T minus 30 seconds. Nice 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Engines full power and lift off. Oh, Starlink. Go Falcon. Go Starlink. Eagles pitching downrange. At T plus 30 seconds, F9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 from the Cape at 11.43 a.m. Eastern Time. MOD chair pressures are nominal. Nominal power and telemetry. Falcon 9 is supersonic. You just heard the call out that Falcon 9 is supersonic, which means the vehicle is traveling faster than the speed of sound. just heard the call out for max Q, which is the point at which the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of external stress as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere. We're now about one minute away from a series of events, MECO, stage step, SES-1, and fairing separation. MECO, or main engine cutoff, is when all nine of the Merlin engines on the first stage shut down. Stage, stage separation is when the first and second stages separate from one another. SES-1, or second engine start one, is where we light the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. And fairing separation is when the two fairing halves separate and fall away from the second stage. Keep an eye out for these events happening in quick succession. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. And you just saw that we confirmed Miko, stage separation, and SES-1 will be coming up shortly on fairing separation. Fairing separation confirmed. And there we just heard and saw those two fairing halves separating and falling away from the second stage. Both of the fairing halves that flew on today's mission are flight proven with one half flying for the sixth time and the other its seventh. We'll be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel, Doug. Just as a reminder, on the left-hand side of your screen is the Falcon 9 first stage. On and on the right is the MVAC ignition that you can see glowing bright orange as it's carrying our Starlink satellites to their desired orbit. We also just heard a call out that stage one and stage two are both following nominal trajectories. Currently, the first stage is on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. The MVAC engine attached to the second stage is continuing its burn, which will last for another five minutes or so. Acquisition of signal of Bermuda. For those of you who are just joining us, we had an on-time liftoff at 11.43 a.m. Eastern Time from Slick 40. Today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 219th mission overall and 20th mission just this year.
a beautiful view of planet Earth on the left-hand side of your screen and on the right-hand side behind stage two. If you look on the bottom corners of your screen, you can see the speed and altitude of both the first and second stages. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. Today, we're sending another 56 satellites to space on today's mission. Stage one entry burn startup. There's a call out for stage one entry burn. Stage one, which we also call the booster, has relit three of its stage engines. Stage one FTS is saved. Engines one, five, and nine to slow it down for atmospheric re-entry. Stage one entry burn shut down. You just heard stage the call out. Stage two FTS is saved that the entry burn on the first stage has completed. The first stage used to launch our 56 Starlink satellites into space today is flying for its 10th time, having supported two CRS missions, two crew missions, Turksat 5B, vehicles on a nominal trajectory. Eutelsat Hotbird 13G, Empower A, and two Starlink missions. We have one more burn coming up on the first stage, which is the landing burn, and should be coming up in about one minute. The center engine, E9 specifically, is the engine that relights for landing burn to slow it down before it touches on the drone ship. Stage one transonic. There's that call that the first stage is transonic, which means it's traveling near the speed of sound. Coming up next, we have landing burn, which should start in about 15 seconds from now. Stage one landing burn. And there's confirmation that the stage one landing burn has started in preparation for touchdown on our drone ship, a shortfall of, of Gravitas. Keep that on the right. Stage one landing leg deploy. Expected loss of signal cape. Stage one landing confirmed. Falcon 9 has successfully landed, marking the 10th successful landing for this booster. And we're now awaiting second engine cutoff coming up in a few seconds. Expected loss of signal Bermuda. Nominal orbit surgeon. And if you heard those callouts, we had successful SECO and nominal orbital insertion. So with confirmation of successful first stage landing and second engine cutoff, that's going to wrap up our coverage for today. Today's landing marks our 181st overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions, and our 219th overall mission to date. Be sure to check out our social media pages for a confirmation of Starlink satellite deployment. And thank you all for watching, and we hope you have a great weekend.